So uh, here we go. David Jaffe, what a bell end this guy is. Uh, did YouTube grifters kill Dragon Age? I think so. I mean, EA should have seen it coming and been ready. But yeah, I think if they didn't pull the trigger on this title, they sure as shit loaded the gun. Holes, let's discuss. Yeah. It's everybody else's fault. It's everybody else's fault. It's not that people don't want this dog shit. It's because some guy that doesn't know me or whoever else talked about it uh, just said, hey, look, you see that fucking fat bull guy on the internet? Oh, yeah, uh, he's he prevented me from buying the game. No self, no fucking self-awareness. He's, no, he's, he's, he's such a fucking dis disingenuous piece of shit, is David Jaffe, anyway. Yeah, he's he's such a he's such a fucking disingenuous one that one he, he Every, knows everybody he it's knows. everybody else's fault the customers uh it, it's it's everybody else's fault and yeah. that's why it's going to be so difficult for them to pivot because they so, have so people like did, that why did Valgard fail and Baldur's Gate 3 didn't they both have ideological shit in yeah true but one yeah, thrives right. sh should have been well, should have been ready it's like yeah, it, if I should have been ready, I guess maybe I shouldn't have released this shit uh, or had it published by uh, Bioware. But I mean, they were all committed to the bit. They were all in on it, and they got the result. It, it made for a bad game, guys. I mean, I don't know what else to tell you. It wasn't like we were just. It wasn't just ideo ideological shit. I think that had gotten away of it. I'm actually. I think that's exactly what happened. You got guys that were not really probably the best for the job because you were so ideologically possessed. And you produced some a uh, 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 stinker because of it. Mundane gameplay experience, not really an RPG on the rails. Um, everything that an RPG should not be, especially in this day and age, it was. It, I tell you, it wouldn't have even mattered. Let's just say, let's just say, every single piece of of material surrounding this was negative. When the game came out and people, if it was a banger, it, it was a banger. Word, word of mouth would have been like, boom, this is a fucking. We've seen banger. it in movies. We've yeah. seen it in other places yeah. as well. Sure, people have their, uh, you know, instincts start to kick in, and people are like, man, I don't know about this. And then if 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 once it comes out, the audience says, man, this is solid. That's just what it's gonna be. Yeah, and the not, because, not, yeah. what some YouTuber has to say about it doesn't fucking matter. Uh, YouTube man bad. Uh, orange YouTube man bad. Hey, they're like saying that. good. They're, they're saying good things about what was that? The Mission Impossible. Did that make it make money? No, I uh, I saw it. I uh, saw it. How many times at the cinema? I think it was three, four times at the cinema. Maybe five. I think I might have seen it five times at the cinema. Loved it. Uh, didn't stop it from losing money. I was. I will. And you're I'm, a YouTuber and all and that, right? The guy. The guy that apparently can can dictate. Talk, talked how much I liked it on FNT and yeah. real BBC. I guess it's selective, huh? Yeah, it is. It must be. I guess it's selective. <laughs> Just uh, apparently, that power only works in isolation. It yeah, it, it, it only it, it, the power only works uh, when it um, uh, when it favors your uh, your argument. You know, yeah. when, when it's uh, <laughs> your, that works. when it's your confirmation bias. It only works yeah. when it's confirmation bias. Right, yeah, it's funny how that works. Thanks for watching. Be sure to head over to Ripperverse.com to check out our comic book company. We have books, plenty of merchandise, and even some glorious animations from Ripperverse Studios. 